Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for coming. Um, this video I'm just going to speak about my December thoughts and baby step zero because we haven't even hit one and the Dave Ramsey debt free plan. So for those of you who are not familiar, I recently chose to follow the Dave Ramsey baby steps to get out of debt. I currently have, drumo please, $35,000 and some change in debt um, from school loans to car loan to stupid bills and stuff like that. So my plan to get out of debt is to follow his baby steps and baby step zero is to become current on all bills. It's not one of his official steps, it's like an unofficial step, but you want to become current on all bills because you can't save up for your emergency fund while trying to get caught up in bills. That's counterproductive. You want to focus on one thing at a time and one thing only. So when I did this past December is outside of spending too much money on Christmas, I really focused on which bills did I have that I was current on and or a month ahead or a half month ahead and which ones were I, was I behind on some past history I lost my job the end of spring beginning of summer kind of been playing catch up ever since um so for the most part the most part i was caught up in all my bills except for one and i was only about a third of a payment behind because i had been paying a little bit extra on every bill trying to catch up so i got all of that straightened out now the goal is to be a month of head in bills. That's what it means to be current. Meaning you are a month of head. You already have that money. If you haven't paid, so since it's January, if you haven't paid February's bills already, you have the money set aside already so that when the bill comes, it just automatically goes out. You don't have anything to worry about. I don't have that yet. I'm working on that. But in Baby Step Zero, I did get everything caught up to at least December's bills. December's bills were caught up. Now we're working on January, getting everything caught up in January. My goal to be done with Baby Step Zero, originally I wanted to be on Baby Step 1 by February, end of February, beginning of March. Now I'm seeing that it may take me just a little bit longer due to some situations that happened in my life. So I'm not going to let it stop me and deter me like it would do previously. Now I'm just going to, this is what it is what it is. Kind of step it up, handle it, deal, roll with the punches, and keep on going. So, um, without giving too much personal detail, which eventually we're gonna have to get into that, it's just it just comes along with the baby steps. You can't ex share your experience without sharing your numbers. But to not get into too much detail, um, I am current on everything. Now I want to get, no, let me rephrase myself. I'm not current. I'm paid up on everything, but I want to get current in a month ahead by the end of March and February, and then be done with baby step one by the end of April, June. Because before July, my goal really is by July to be working on baby step two, which is getting out of debt. I have done a couple things to kind of prepare for that. I've looked at my credit report, scary. I've calculated how much debt I have, atrocious. Now all I have to do is just focus on really drilling down and telling my money where to go, telling every dollar where I want it to go. And to be honest, in December, I was like, oh, I'm doing it Dave's way. I'm not, I'm gonna be, gonna be in gazelle intense. I'm not gonna keep playing. And sure enough, I played. I was still a little Dave-ish. I wasn't as Dave-ish as I was before. But now I'm really seeing that I need to, as soon as I get paid, go to the ATM, take the money out of the account, do what needs to be done so I can have cash in hand. Cause me and this here Chime debit card, let me tell you, too much fun, too much fun. A tinge too much fun. We'll be having too much fun. 
But I'm proud of myself because what I did do the past couple months is I stayed within my grocery budget, which is a budget that I usually blow. And it's because I like to eat. I like food. I love food. Now my challenge for myself this month is to reduce my spending on planner supplies and of the such crafting supplies in general. I'm trying to drill down and really focus on do you need this? Do you need it right now? Can you use this as a reward to yourself later on? So that's what I'm doing. I'm it's really it's really causing you to really think emotionally like are you buying this to make you feel good so that you don't have to deal with the crap that's going on or are you buying this because you really need it not because you want it wanting is not that's not a factor right now it's just not the way the money is set up it's not a factor for me to want anything what I want is a lot of things but I really need to focus and drill down and save And just really focus on, you know, when it comes to spending on planner supplies, am I doing it for FOMO, for fear of missing out? Am I doing it because everybody else is talking about getting it, so I gotta get it? Or, oh, girl, it's on sale. And then you use your discount. Girl. Girl. It's $20. It's on sale 50% off. That ticket down at $10. Then you got this coupon. That's another 20% off your total purchase. Girl, you could get that. Girl, you could get that for nothing but like $8. That's, that's what my mind does. Now I'm telling my mind, do you need that right now? Do you want it right now? If it's not a yes, then why are you doing it? So that's kind of like my reflections on Baby Step Zero. It's definitely more emotional than I thought it was going to be. Because I'm a numbers person. I'm thinking, okay, I'll just get myself on a budget. I'll pretty much be all right for the most part. It's not going to be no biggie. I got this. Don't trip. But in reality... It's a lot of, you start to realize how many habits you have that surround money. So like anybody who knows me knows, I, I know it's not good for me. Don't judge me. McDonald's french fries. Ugh. If me and McDonald's french fries could have a baby, Lord Jesus. I have the bad habit of if I know I'm going to be in the car for more than 30 to 45 minutes, I'm going to stop and give me some McDonald's french fries and a sweet tea. I looked at my bank statements in December and I stopped at McDonald's at least three times a week. Three times a week. Three dollars a piece, three, four dollars. Now that three, four dollars all together three times a week, I could have saved and I could have had an extra hundred and some dollars. But me and these french fries. So those are just things that I'm working on. Um, it's not the easiest. I'm going to let y'all know right now. If y'all start these baby steps, you best be prepared to look in the mirror at yourself. It is a lot of self-evaluation, especially if people around you don't understand why you're doing it. Thank the Lord that I have a spouse who is the one who introduced me to the Dave Ramsey baby steps. So she understands when I say, okay, no, I don't have the money for that. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. That's not a part of the plan. Da, da, da. Even to the point where sometimes she's telling me, uh-uh. You said you was doing a Dave Ramsey plan, so you ain't supposed to be getting that. Why you got another Joanne's bag walking in this house? Why the car smell like McDonald's french fries? You need that accountability partner, even if they don't know that they're your accountability partner, to help you through it. Because it is not So what I will say, I have learned in this this first month, pre-baby steps, that's what we're going to call it, pre-baby steps, is get a month ahead so that if life comes, at least you're a month ahead and you can still keep on trucking. Cash envelopes. <laughs> 
even before you start focusing on your emergency fund, you need to start using them. Trust me. Trust me. You need to start using them. And have a plan. Stick to your plan. Know your plan. Hold your plan like your Bible here. God here. Your plan should be right under the Bible. It's right underneath on that next shelf on the bookshelf. And visit your plan every day. Know why you're doing it. What are you doing it for? Those are things that I've had to keep reminding myself. But it was just a little. I just wanted to tell y'all my thoughts. My thoughts. My feelings. Emotionally. Going through these baby steps. I know it was going to be a little bit more emotional than just, you know, budget, budget. But I didn't think it was going to have me looking at myself like, sis. Really? Really? So, plus with my health, it's something that I need to focus on. So, with all that being said, where are you at in your baby steps? Are you focusing on the baby step? Are you just starting your budget? Let's talk about it below in the comments. Like and also subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.